In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to your lovable project or website. So this is very easy. So once you're inside of the project you want to connect your domain to, go to the drop down menu in the top left hand corner, then go to settings. Once you're in settings, look for domains. It should be the second one down. And then you can see the subdomain, which is given by lovable when you sign up. Now, if you want to connect a custom domain, you need to go to add an existing domain, click connect domain, and then it will open up a window and it will ask for your domain. Now we're going to find the domain on GoDaddy. So if you already got it registered, go to my account, click on domains. You'll then see a list of all of your domains. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on the domain and click manage. So if I was to connect this domain, I would click on manage. Once I've clicked on manage on the domain, it's going to take us into the back end. So we're going to be using searchablehowto.com. So from the back end, we can actually just copy it straight from here. And then we can go to lovable. We can click continue and we can then paste in the domain. Then we can click continue again. It's then going to analyze our domain and it's going to detect that we registered it with GoDaddy. So now you've got two options here and this really depends on you and how much you trust Lovable. You can either log in to your GoDaddy account, enter in your username and password, and it will connect your project to your custom domain automatically. Or if you want to do this manually, which is what I'm going to show you, go to their manual setup at the bottom here. Now we need to copy these two values into your GoDaddy domain. So these are both A records and it is very simple. So once you're in the back end of your domain, go to DNS and this is going to be on GoDaddy. And here you'll see DNS management. Now just make sure that you're on the right domain. So I'm going to click this drop down menu. We're going to go searchablehowto.com and we want to be in the DNS management for that specific domain that we've added. Now we can go ahead and add a new record based on what it shows here. So we're adding two records, which are both A records. So I'm going to copy the required value for the first one. The host name is just www. So we'll go a record for the first one, host name, www. The value, we've already got that copied. So we'll paste it in, then we'll click save. Now that's going to update and add the first a record. So here it is. Now we need to do the same for the second one. So you can see the second a record, the host name is at and the required value we can copy. So we'll go add new record. We'll go a record at and then we'll copy and paste in the value again, which is the same. And then we'll click save. So now we've added both of these A records. We can see them here. Very simple, very easy stuff. Now just go ahead and click on all of these values and just make sure that they're all selected. And you can then say I've added two out of two records to my domain provider. Now we're all set and we then can click done. Now you can see it's connecting the domain in the bottom corner here. And if it doesn't connect, just keep refreshing until it does. It can take up to 48 hours for the domain connection to be active. But then you can click on the downwards arrow. You can go to settings. You can go to domains. And then here you see your domain here. Now, as you can see that it is still being configured by this flashing dot. Now in 48 hours or up to 48 hours, once the DNS records have updated, this should be working and you can then click on it and it will take you to your website. Again, be patient with this because it can take up to 48 hours. But as long as you've added both of these A records here, it will work eventually. So there you go. After refreshing, it is now working. If you do want to double check that you've done it correctly, just copy your domain. Go ahead and just type in DNS checker. And this is if you're really paranoid. If you've added the records, it will work. But in DNS checker, paste in your domain. And if everything's green here, it means you've done it all correctly. You just need to wait for the DNS settings to update, which they will do shortly. But that's how you connect. I hope that helped you out.